Hi everyone, this is Simko Waitovich from Firefly Site. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up Type 20 and Type 19 demountable cuvettes. We're going to go over how to inject the sample, assemble, mount, and clean these cuvettes. So let's jump right in. Okay, we'll start with the Type 20 demountable cuvette. To inject the sample, first we make sure that the groove plate, which is the plate that we have right here, We make sure that the groove plate has the groove side facing up. When you run your finger along the cuvette, you should feel a slight bump at the edge. If not, you have to turn the plate over. Now, I like to place a drop on the end of the cell and then make a small line of sample down the middle of the cell. So I'll just put my drop right here at the end, boom, right there and then make a nice little trail right along the cell, just like that. To make the seal, I'll take the cover slip right here. <coughs> and starting from the end, where I put the drop, I'll gently slide this cover plate over the cell and make sure there are no air bubbles. just like that. If you do see air bubbles, back the cover plate up and put a drop of sample on the cuvette and continue to slide the cover plate until it's completely closed. It's important that the edges are wet, the raised edges are wet here, and this is what keeps the two plates sealed together. Also make sure to dry any sample that may have overflowed. You also want to give the just a plume. You also just want to give the cuvette a little. S and there we have a perfectly loaded Type 20 cuvette. To mount the Type 20 cell in the A20 cell mount, which we have right over here, to mount the Type 20 cell in the A20 cell mount, Earth backwards. Try this again. You know, we're just gonna crop this in. Just, it's just too tight of an angle for me to work with this thing. Okay, fine. To mount the Type 20 cell on the A20 cell mount, you simply pull back the spring, right? Just like that, pull it all the way back, and just slide the cuvette right into place here. Let this, put this spring back gently. Take your finger out. And boom, it's ready to go. Now to disassemble the Type 20, you slide the cover plate off the same way you put it on. Just simply slide it right off the top. Making sure again that you have the groove plate on the bottom. And you wind up with a nice bead right on the end there. Super easy to clean. Since it can be taken apart, it's really easy to clean. One way to clean this cell is to flush the cuvette with purified water and dry on the cell rack, or with a lens cloth. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a lens cloth for this one since it's just a small dot on the end. Just boom, sucked it right up. Let's just go ahead and wipe down the groove plate. And also the cover plate as well. And it's all set for the next experiment. Also for tough stains, you could use a cleaning swab with a little bit of ethanol alcohol here and just go right over the windows just like that. This is the groove plate we're cleaning right now. Now move on to the cover plate. Same thing, just gently go over the windows just like that. Dry it with a lens cloth, or you could draw, air dry it on a cuvette rack. And that's it, you're all set. For type 19, it's even easier to fill. So you're just gonna grab your cuvette rack, which I have right over here. 
and you have your 820, we'll load it inside. Boom. And we're just gonna slide the empty cell assembled. We're just gonna put the two pieces together, assemble it like that. Make sure the open side is facing up and we'll pull back the spring and put it right into the cell mount. Let the spring go gently. And here's how we fill this one up. We're just gonna take our micro pipette. We're just gonna take our standard pipette here and put a drop right on the top. Even though the opening is very small, the sample will be sucked into the cell like magic. To disassemble the Type 19 cell, well, first we'll have to take it out of the cell mount. So just simply slide it right out of the cell mount, just like this. Here the springs snap into place. Okay, we'll put that to the side. And now we'll want to make sure that the groove plate and now we'll want to make sure that the groove plate is down. And we disassemble it just like the Type 20. We simply slide the cover plate right off, nice and slow, so we don't make a mess. And boom, and we'll end up with that drop right on the end again. Again, we'll take our lens cloth and we'll just get it all right off. One, two, three. And what I'd like to do is take a cleaning swab that's been dipped in some alcohol and just go right over that plate right away. As soon as it comes out, we go right over it, dry it with the lens cloth, put it right into the cell rack. And we'll do the same thing with the cover plate. We'll go ahead and clean it with alcohol, both sides. Give it a quick wipe with the lens cloth. It's all set to go for the next experiment. Thanks for watching this instructional video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at fireflyside.com or leave us a comment below. If this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up button. If this video wasn't helpful, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, we'd love to hear from you and we'll see you next time.